Hi everybody, I'm BC and welcome to another episode of Nomads. I apologize for being late on this episode. Uh, there was some issues with the, the Steam blueprinting. A few people had some issues uploading uh, blueprints to the workshop, so I thought I'd give it some time uh, to allow them to work it out so people could get some more stuff up. Uh, and then uh, then I got lazy. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm lazy. What can I say? I work. Anyways, uh, I got a couple of nice ones for today. Uh, one of the things about the last episode is I felt really bad about Tang X69 but not being able to load up the mothership. Now, they did uh, make a newer version of the mothership that I was going originally going to load, but they did another ship that we're going to check out first, and it's called Rorqual. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but yes, Rorqual. I, like I said, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, they also did the uh, uh, version 1.2 of the mothership, but I thought I'd go with this one because this one looked a little more inter interesting, and it is. And we'll check that out in a second here. So build time is almost eight minutes. Uh, there are some controls. We'll go through this uh, once we go inside. Uh, just basically, uh, there is a spinner. We'll check that one out in a minute. Uh, blue switches for the air blades for flight, and purple is for exterior lights. And there is a, a lifter. That goes with containers that I'll show you when we load up the build. And there is uh, connection nodes in the front. And I'm assuming that this lifter is all powered off the ship's main engine. Uh, anyways, we go down and then there is the, the part count. And I will let you look at that. And let's build it. So again, another big creation by someone who has some really artistic talent. I really like how they're... Oh, hang on. This one's a little laggy. It's going to drop too, unfortunately. But I like how they're using the small blocks to get like detail and definition. And uh, you can actually see this spinner right now. It's actually a little bigger than I thought. It had, did stick a few times. But it, it's not a bad ship. It's really well done. Used a lot of glass in this. And wait for it. There we go. Yes, that's why I have my graphics down so low. And it's not just this. Like, even some of the stuff I've built is just crazy. But here we go. This is the Rorqual. Uh, where was the front door? Let's actually go in the main front here. So these are the containers for the the, the Lifter Mark 1. They, uh, they are actually anchored in place right now. I guess they have them connected to each other somehow. Uh, or once you load it, you take them apart. Uh, that's actually the back end. I'm at the wrong end of the ship, of course. But as you can see, they did uh, a lot of detailing with the, the slopes and the small blocks to get like little little anchors around the, the air blades. Really nice job on the, the, the cockpit, the way it's all glass, and they got the, the, the stand-up version there. Then we go into the vehicle bay, and this is where the Mark I lander would, or Mark, Mark I lifter would park you know, connect the they they say you connect the green and the white to the lifter and then it gets it gets power from there but yeah we got a couple of beacons here from guessing engines or maybe some firepower I don't know where the switch is for these if they're even wired up they are somewhere oh it's probably the purple switch upstairs but then we go through here and got a nice lot nice little viewing area of not only the outside of the ship but the spinner as well. And this is this is the spinner. And while we're down here, let's actually unlock this. And I think uh, I think it was this side. I think I gotta unlock that upstairs. But then we go through and well, again, nice view area. We go over to the back here, and I believe this is uh, the main cargo area. We got some uh, printers. I, know, I can't actually open them because I'm in creative right now, of course. Uh, they've been using a lot of these conveyor connectors. And I was actually trying to figure out how, what they were actually using to set them up with. Or what they were using them for, I should say. But yeah, again, uh, a lot of detail. These are the, exter the external containers. And, oh, okay, I see what they're doing. They're actually floating, so when we uh, disconnect them, They'll drop down and actually connect to these conveyor connectors here. So you got a mo mobile storage area. I can actually go inside here. I didn't even know that. And I'm stuck. Very well done. Let's actually try this. Oh, that's going to hurt. And there we go. So one's connected. Uh, that one's going to come down. 
And it's connected on the other side. That's why. But there you go. So then what you do is with the, li the lifter, just lift up on the hook and you got yourself a mobile container. Really handy. That's a door to the outside. And then we got the front of the ship here. Now let's go back upstairs. Let's get the gun out of my hand before I destroy anything more, anything else. And then, how did we get upstairs? Oh yes, the bridge is over here, I believe. Yes, it is. So then we go in here, we go, we got some more uh, printing terminals. The staircase going up to a nice big open area cockpit. A really nice attention to detail with even like, just even like the, having the lockers there, just a little something different. And then we have a couple of different controls here. Uh, the purple, I'm guessing is this one here. We didn't drop, so I'm gonna say yes. Let's see if we can get outside. Oh, no, it won't let me go outside. Hmm. That's a little, a little odd. Anyway, yeah. So that uh, external lights. Uh, let's actually turn that back on. That spinner is turned on. So let's go turn this thing on. That's the big guy right here. Uh, there was two plates I got to unlock. I can't remember where the other one was. I think it was down here. somewhere I guess it was just the one but they have just a simple little hover pad drive going for it oh yeah there's uh yeah, there's supposed to be one on the other side I think it was up in the main bridge hang on ah yes I forgot about this well for one it's got to be unlocked here and two got to take the stick out now I should be okay because the other side's still locked and we can get to that just by dropping down here you go on the left, on the right side, because this door can only be accessed from this side. You unlock this, and then what that does is it actually causes the containers to rotate slowly. And there we go. We have. I'm not able to see it from that view. Oh, a little laggy. A little laggy. Uh, there's conveyor connectors, and I think that's what's doing it. But let's go outside and see if we get a better view of it. Okay, as soon as I, st I stop moving, the frame rate will get better. So I can sort of see what's going on. But this is it. This is uh, Rourke Wall. Uh, you can check it out in the Steam Workshop. You can uh, swing by there, give them a thumbs up on this one. Uh, check it out there. Uh, if you're not on Steam, again, the link will be in the description to, for a direct download. And there's a couple of others we're going to check out. Uh, they're not necessarily big, big ships, but they're still quite interesting. And the first one is going to be the Raiden. And this is by Who. Uh, yes, that's actually the name is Who. Uh, the build time is a minute and a half, and uh, it was basically inspired by the video game Raiden. And that's that's an old game back in the old days, back when we had these things called arcades. And there you go. It looks like it's a fairly cheap build. Uh, it is fully stocked, and we'll check it out. And uh, when I first saw this, I actually thought it was a lot bigger. But as you can see, it is a very, very creative build. And I really like it. Yes. Uh, it should have been. A, that's weird because when the first time I built it, it was higher up. But anyways, let's go check it out. I put a fair amount of detail into this. I like how they were using uh, these new corner blocks, they're called, I think. I don't know. I haven't really done anything creative for a little while. I've been too busy doing BCs kind of stuff. But yes, this is a fully featured ship. As, it's, as you can see, it's got a lot of air blades. It is capable of doing, I think it was 72 kilometers an hour. Uh, it has all the, this, all the amenities. It's got two stasis chambers. It has a couple of printers, a couple of food and drink machines. We've got an armory over here. We have a refinery there. And I got a terminal for everything. We got Big Jenny down below. And then we head over to the front here. We can see he's got a couple of miners there. And this right here is a water pump. So all you do is dip the ship down to the water and you got yourself a, a water pump connection. A little noisy down there. But yes. Uh, almost looks like you'd sort of store stuff in there if you really wanted to. And I like the, uh, the glass floor. Like, I haven't done anything with the glass. I've been thinking about doing stuff myself, but I haven't. 
And then of course we got the, the replicator on the back side with a scanner and I just fell into a hole. It's almost like I've never used a jetpack before. But let's, let's go take it for a spin. I'm going to change my view here. Don't mind me. And flies really good. I got to admit, it's a really nice design, really creative. Right? It's the kind of game everybody should want to play. You build your own ship, build your own car. You're not going through a catalog of the six different cars you can buy or even ships. But well done. Well done, who? Excellent. Can't wait to see what else you come up with next. But there we have it. That is the Raiden. Uh, again, you can check this one out in the, the Steam Workshop. You can swing by, give them a... Give them a thumbs up, a good rating, and, and check out the build for yourself. And, of course, the link will be in the description for a direct download. And finally, we have the Advanced Airship by Bipolar Bear. Uh, it takes just under three minutes to build. It's uh, more or less a, a mobile base. It has all the amenities. It's capable of doing 47 km, kilometers an hour and engine powered. And uh, it has does occasionally have the sunk into ground syndrome but we've all been there so we know we know how to deal with that and then as, you, as you can see there is the building cost there and there it is now when I first saw this I thought I actually thought it was a little bit bigger but what caught my attention about this is it actually looked like an airship almost like a like a blimp so as I check it out and I thought it was actually a little bit bigger but it's it's not a bad little ship. It's uh, really detailed. But you go in here, and this is basically a little setup here. Oh, motion sensor light. It's not really handy. And then we got, uh, what was that? That was, oh, that's the, the med bay. We've got a printer over there. we got a food and drink machine over there, a couple of storage containers, the armory, and refinery up there. And as you can see, we got a deuterium generator in the back, stasis chamber there, and we are good to go. And this one does f fly. Of course, I can't fly because I have a roof over my head. I'm going to just hop in here. And I know I didn't have to jetpack to get in there. And zoom out again. And there we go. And I uh, got some extra air blades on the side there to get a little bit more speed. Which is understandable because I know the large air blades aren't the fastest in the world. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention we have a greenhouse too. Nice little greenhouse in the back. And there it is, the Advanced Airship by Bipolar Bear. Again, you can check this out in the Steam Workshop. Give them a, give them a thumbs up on this and check, check out the build for yourself. And of course, it will be in the, the link will be in the description for direct download. And there we have it. Three more great creations showing the limitless possibilities that is Planet Nomads. Uh, don't forget to uh, swing by the Steam Workshop, check these guys out. Uh, links will be in the description for direct downloads. And uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Happy no banning.